Hello everyone. I would like to first introduce myself. I am Gunjan Shukla and I am a hydroponic enthusiast. My journey into hydroponics began in January 22 when I completed a course with Entwerf Academy. I would like to thank Entwerf for giving me this opportunity to display my work with all of you. But before we begin, I would also like to mention a word of appreciation for Aruna Mori ma'am and her team who successfully guided me throughout my first project of 24 plants and helped me understand the very basics of hydroponics. Today I have a system of 120 plants. Actually in my project now, I wanted to grow more and more varieties to gain better experience and understanding of hydroponics. So I have around 12 varieties of green leafy category and around 8 plants of the fruiting category. So before any further delay, let's start. Hello everyone, now I'll take you around my farm and show you the varieties which I have planted. The first one that you see here is mint or green mint. Now this is a fast growing herb and once it comes up in the system it just spreads and it smells really amazing. See how well it's doing here. Now the second variety which I have here is Ajwain or Ajwain Patta as it is known. But when I researched about these plants, it's actually a variety of Boraj, actually Indian Boraj. And it has come up so well here. See how amazing it looks. Now the leaves of this plant are pretty soft and thick. And it has grown very tall here. See how light my looks. The third variety which I have here is spinach. Now obviously you cannot have a system of green leafy uh, plants without having spinach. And again these plants are giving me a super harvest every week. Sometimes even twice a week. And the leaves you know the quality of the leaves is something which I would have never expected in the market. Look at this, how nice and fresh they look. Now the fourth variety which I have here is Genovese basil. Now this is a really aromatic herb and once it comes up in the system, it gives us such beautiful leaves. Look at this and these leaves have such a sweet aroma. It's a great herb to grow hydroponically. Now the fifth variety here is uh, again a type of basil, sweet Thai basil. Now this herb also has very beautiful leaves and sweet smelling. So again I'm really happy that I planted this one here. The sixth variety which I'm showing here is beetroot. Now I planted beetroot specifically for the purpose of its leaves. Because you get the fruit in the market, but you don't get these leaves. And these leaves are a great add-on to your diet because they are extremely rich in minerals and vitamins. And I'm really happy that they are coming up so well. The seventh variety here which I have is pok chow or Asian cabbage. And it has established itself really well here. Again, look at this one. The taste of these leaves is simply superb. The eighth variety here is a uh, safflor or commonly known as curdy. Now this plant has been recently put in the system so it's still coming up but it's doing well. The ninth variety which I am showing here is green peas. Now green peas I have planted for the purpose of its fruit 
and also for the purpose of the leaves since the leaves are supposed to be extremely rich again in the minerals and vitamin content. The tenth variety which I have here is Swiss chard. Now this plant is still younger but the leaves have come up quite well. The 11th variety which I have here is methi or fenugreek. Now along with spinach, I also wanted to try methi in the system and it is doing extremely well. Though the plants are younger, but I can see that they will come up really well. And the 12th and the last variety which I have here is lettuce romaine. Now lettuce has such awesome looking leaves and they are obviously planted for the greens and it has come up so well in the system. Look at this. So here I finish the round of my systems. Thank you.